2023 was a questionable year for Roblox. There's a lot of awful moments, updates, and more, but we already looked at all that. So today, we're actually going to look back at all the good moments and updates this year. Please subscribe and stay tuned to see all the good updates you might have forgotten. Our first thing, one of the good things that happened at the start of the year was that Roblox took an initiative to try to actually be more interactive with their community. At the start of the year, they started putting out emails, and I think they did this, continuing to do this throughout the year, where they kind of asked developers, you know, in general, how they should improve the platform and stuff. And for once, it actually looked like Roblox cared about the community and stuff. Obviously, as I'm sure we're all aware, ever since the stock launch, Rolls has been completely distant, but stuff like this kind of showed that maybe they still do care, and it started off the year on a good note. And then from that, Rolls actually listened to the community once again. So basically, at the start of the year, they released this update where in Roblox Studio, when you select something, it usually has a box around it, so you know what you're selecting. And then they changed it, so there's no longer a box around it, but there's a, like an outline around the image, which looks kind of fine, but it made a lot of people annoyed because it just made it harder to use, and it wasn't that clear when you're selecting something. And a lot of developers were angry roll up for this but in a rare occurrence rolls listened and ever since the, like the outrage of it they actually changed it so you can enable which one you want to use so if you want to use the old one you can use the old one if you want to need a new one you can use a new one so it was a pretty good change from roblox and once again rolls did actually listen to the community for once and then following that rolls announced this update where they said starting on january 17th 2023 experiences without guidelines would no longer be recommended to users under the age of nine age recommendation of experiences will also begin to inform search and discovery so obviously throughout the year we have seen that the search and stuff hasn't been that good and it has been recommending people like suspicious stuff however roblox did make efforts to try to improve that and try to improve the safety for younger people on the platform although i don't know if it completely worked out however at least he tried for roblox that's pretty good and the next we should have a really big update this year which i feel like a lot of people kind of forgot about quickly and it isn't used as much as it should be what the future was was that roblox added so we can make our own events kind of as we can see here developers can now add events to their game and schedule them so then everyone who can check it sees the time and win a thing and they can click if they're interested or not. And it's a very cool feature going on. I know, please don't do this a bunch when this update release and there's a bunch more going on. And it's an overall pretty cool feature. And speaking of features, next we got this feature where rules added it so that when you're buying items, they now recommend you other items to buy along with it. And a lot of people love this feature because although sometimes it's a bit broken and it didn't really recommend good items, sometimes it would actually recommend like good combinations and overall just good items that actually pair well with your stuff that you're buying. So it's a pretty good update from Roblox and it just made the whole catalog experience a bit better. And next, Rolls added a small update, but an update people have wanted for so long, that being Roblox adding the ability to transfer games between users and groups. So if a group owns a game, or if a person owns a game and they want to add it to a group, they can finally transfer that. And it's a really good feature, especially for developers, because they've wanted stuff like this for so long. And with that, next, Rolls added a bunch of good security features this year. This year especially, they added a bunch of security features and stuff when logging into your account. And I think they even added like passkeys and stuff to make it even more secure. And Roblox, obviously, the bigger it gets, the bigger like hacking problems and stuff get. But with that, they're also adding more security features. So if you want to make your Rolls account more secure, there's a bunch of stuff you can do now because of a bunch of new updates they added. And with that, Rolls actually gave away a bunch of free Robux this year, kind of. So Microsoft Rewards was kind of the main thing for free Robux. And you could argue that this isn't really Roblox doing it, but overall, Microsoft Rewards was really good this year. And Microsoft Rewards throughout the entire year also had some good promotions where they'd give you a bunch of points and stuff and robux for doing like simple tasks and overall it was a really good way for people to get free robux this year and in general because of this collaboration with roblox and microsoft a lot of people got free robux and a lot of people are working towards getting free robux because of this it's a really cool collab they're doing and with that one of the worst things that happened to robux this year was the whole state of the uc program I talked about it more in the video where I go over every bad update, but I'm sure we all know what's going on. The UC moderation completely broke and stuff like that, which led to a bunch of copyright items, fake limiteds, and whatever. But on the good side of things, Rolls did actually make a bunch of efforts behind the scenes to try to, you know, stop this. Even though the moderation never improved, Rolls did try their best to stop some of this. And behind the scenes, they're actually banning a lot of popular creators a bunch of times. And anyone who, like, made these fake dominance and stuff would end up actually getting banned and kicked from the program. So they were trying to prevent it somehow. Uh, but obviously there's so much going on that they can't handle all of it and i was just speaking about the microsoft awards a little bit ago and like i said you can argue that's not roblox however this year rolls was actually really good with refunds over the past few years everyone's labeled roblox as a greedy company and stuff and honestly you can probably still say that and that probably still stands however roblox this year made a bunch of efforts to properly refund people no matter what so if you just item got deleted, they would refund you. If old items got deleted, they would refund you. And a bunch more stuff like that. And in general this year, Roblox really upped the re refund system. 
and a bunch of people got refunds for a bunch of stuff and it was very good this year because Roblox was kind of weird as the refunds before and they weren't doing them properly however this year they improved their system and a bunch of people get refunds now and a bunch of people get their Roblox back because of stuff like this and next we have another potential big update from Roblox being that they added like genres now now I'm pretty sure this update has kind of been testing in and out and I'm pretty sure that it isn't fully implemented just yet however rules has been experimenting with genres coming back to the platform as we can see here stuff like action adventure fighting all stuff like that to kind of make looking for games better because a big problem on Roblox going on is that their search is just pretty awful and people have been complaining for so long so they're trying to combat that by adding stuff like this and with that we move into one of the biggest and best changes rolled out of this year being their anti-cheat so not only did Roblox buy by front to help with anti-cheat but recently they also did team with like a popular hacking engine to stop hackers which is pretty insane so not only do they have the by front in place which does help a little bit a lot of people obviously found loopholes around by front and stuff so they also teamed up with a popular hacking software to combat hacks which is pretty crazy and in general Roblox made a bunch of efforts this year to fix the hacking problem and i think it's gotten better i remember at the start of the year there's huge issues going on with hackers especially in games like bed wars but i think due to all this new stuff going on it's getting less and less and for some games almost like every server you would join or like every other server you would join have would have some sort of hacker in it and it's really bad however with all their new stuff and this by front and everything the hacking situation has got very good on the platform and with that we have another big update of something people have been begging for for years of that rolls is working on adding an invisible mode now i'm pretty sure this feature is still not implemented however it was speculated to be coming soon and it seems like there are potentially still working on it and the invisible mode feature is exactly what it says you can appear invisible instead of online and if you're actually online it'll just say you're offline so you can kind of hide and be online and be in games without anyone noticing and especially youtubers would have been begging rolls for this feature because the obviously it's harder for them to play games and stuff when everyone knows they're in games and stuff and that's why a lot of youtubers use alt accounts but with updates like these it'll help them kind of stay hidden and with that next we got a small update but something really useful being that they added group searches i know a lot of people are in like a bunch of groups and it is annoying to go through every single one to try to find just the one you're looking for so we added it so you can just search for the group and it's super simple and easy small update but pretty good and the next we have a pretty big update being that rules change the in-game menu so the in-game menu had a bunch of i feel like testing and stuff that happened this year however the final one they landed on was this one here with like the black background and they kind of changed where stuff are and i feel like firstly when this launched a lot of people didn't like it however more people have gotten used to it and it doesn't seem that bad anymore and it is a pretty clean update so pretty good on roblox and i think overall it was a very good update from them because the menu it did change and like stuff did change around but for the most part it was the same it's more of a visual look and with that next we have an update that people have been begging rolls for for a long time once again and i'm pretty sure once again this isn't out just yet however rolls did announce this year that they're working on adding like their own fps unlocker if you guys aren't aware rolls actually caps your, your fps and stuff which could make games not run as smooth especially for people who have like better PCs and stuff and that's why people use FPS unlockers because it actually lets them play Roblox to like its full potential but Rolls announced that they're gonna try building it into their own so people don't have to use third party stuff for that and it's a pretty big thing and people have been wanting this for in Rolls for so long and with the next we have kind of a big change because this year Roblox actually announced that they're kind of getting rid of the whole metaverse thing if you guys weren't aware for the past two years and ever since Rolls launched a stock they had this whole thing about building a metaverse they always referred to Rolls as a metaverse and literally everyone hated and all just kind of cringe and after all that rules announces here that they're just kind of going to get rid of it over time and they're not going to really use the metaverse label anymore which is really good because anytime robots could refer to itself in the metaverse it was just weird and it's always boring corporate stuff and anyways with that next we have probably one of the best updates that they released this year to be honest of that being the new report feature so rules completely overhauled and revamped the report feature this year and before reports seemed pretty useless and it was kind of harder to report people because it was harder to explain what's going on without screenshots and stuff but this year roles changes so that not only can you screenshot send a report but you can also highlight stuff specifically in the screenshot so if you take a screenshot of your whole screen and in like the top right corner someone's wearing like an inappropriate shirt for example you can just select that and then report them for inappropriate content and it's a very good feature and it's a very good step in the right direction for roblox because the reporting system has been so bad for so long now and speaking of really big and good updates this year we had a kind of a crazy thing going on with dynamic heads and at one point it seems like roles is going to try forcing us to switch to dynamic heads however roblox announced that you're going to have the option to toggle dynamic heads on and off which seems kind of minor but this is actually really good because this means that they're not forcing us to use realistic avatars and dynamic heads and stuff like that and with that we have another big update and pretty good update being that they added a switch account feature which is pretty self-explanatory now if you want to switch to your accounts so you don't have to log out log back in and do that whole annoying process you can just add a couple accounts now and then you can switch between them simply just going through every single one which is really good 
because it was so annoying to always log out and then log back in to the other accounts just to get into like all account stuff and now you can have it all in one place without logging out and logging in every single time and it's a very good feature from roblox and next we have another small update but one that people really seem to love of that being with voice chat right when you join the game they actually add the feature where you can just mute other people or you can choose to hear other people because a lot of times people don't want to hear other people and they want to mute others so it's a very good feature because otherwise you have to go in and manually mute everyone so good from roblox on that end and speaking of roles doing good stuff this year roles is something pretty amazing being that they actually started giving make-a-wish people their own exclusive items so this year we saw a bunch of dominuses being released just for these make-a-wish kids and then there's also a valkyrie i'm pretty sure and it's very cool from roblox because for the longest time now it seems like roles actually stopped doing stuff like this and it seems like they kind of distance themselves but the fact that they still took time to you know custom make these items was really cool and not only that but the dominuses and like everything like that were like completely customized and they were completely high quality you know some of them had like effects and everything they weren't just like quickly slapped together you can tell roles actually put time into it so it's very cool from them and next this is kind of small but i thought it was actually pretty cool i know a lot of people were hating on this but it is actually pretty cool of that being adami actually collabed with mcdonald's to make official like half meal toys and stuff which was pretty huge for adami and also just roblox in general you know one of the biggest fast food chains in the world collabing with the roblox game was pretty crazy i know people were hating on this like i said probably just because it's adami but in general if you just think about it as like roblox kind of clapping with mcdonald's it's pretty insane and it was probably one of the greatest things i've seen and speaking of which next one of the biggest things that happened this year also being that roblox finally launched a playstation after years i know the playstation launch was kind of disappointing and it was kind of messed up for a lot of people however the general fact that roblox is finally on playstation is very good and I think over time it is getting better and all the bugs and stuff are getting better. And with that we got our first RDC announcement, which I mean all of them were controversial, however this one seemed pretty good. Where Rolls announced you're gonna be able to move scale and rotate your accessories on your avatar. Which are pretty cool because a lot of times when people buy avatars and wear avatar items it usually clips through or doesn't fit properly or match properly but now that's all going to be gone this update is not out yet but it is coming in the future and with the next we have another small update but a very good one of that being roblox actually added a translation system so no matter what server you join if someone's speaking a different language you can translate it and vice versa so it's a very cool and very good update from roblox there and next rules kind of revamped the whole invite system this year so when someone invites you to a game and you're actually in a game it'll kind of pop up and tell you that way you can't really miss it and it's actually very good and next rules actually revamped the catalog once again and this time what they added was shopping experiences so it's a completely new tab where they literally show shopping games and stuff it's pretty cool and it's especially pretty good because at one point in this year rules actually was trying to like shut down these games in a sense and they're kind of ruining them but with that they kind of started promoting them now so it's pretty good that they're still supporting these games and they're kind of showing them off in a good spot and with that overall this year was a very tough year for robux it actually got very expensive for a lot of people with the new gift card changes however this year rolls had a bunch of sales and stuff for a lot of holidays and just randomly throughout the year they would have 10 percent off 20 percent off sales and there's a lot of opportunities to get robux at a cheaper rate this year and it's very cool to see from roblox there's actually a bunch of sales going on and next we have a controversial one i actually included this in the video where i talked about the bad updates however you can argue this is a good update the rules assistant which is just released recently in roblox studio basically what this is is that it's just like a chat gpt bot essentially in roblox studio so you can ask it how to script games how to make games all stuff like that and like I said, it's kind of controversial, but also kind of good. On one hand, people think this is bad because it'll ruin creativity and it'll just lead to more games getting copied. But on the other hand, this is really good for people who don't have experience developing and stuff like that. So everyone's kind of on the fence with this one. And with the next one, the last things we got, which was kind of good, was that Rolls added genre sorting to the marketplace, which is pretty good because it helped people search for models and stuff better. And overall, there was some more stuff that I probably missed, so let me know in the comments. But in general, I know a lot of people are saying that this was Roblox's worst year, and I don't think it was, but it definitely wasn't good either. However, stuff like this shows that there was a lot of good stuff sprinkled in this year, and probably more than you were expecting. This year wasn't the best year for Roblox, but if you look at updates like these and stuff, it wasn't that bad. And if you want to learn about all the bad updates and stuff that happened this year, check out this video to find out that, where I cover every single one, and I'll see you in the next one.